My name is Peter Wilson and I'm the F-35 Stovall lead test pilot. I'm based out at Pax River on the east coast of the United States of America. I've been on the F-35 program now for eight years and I work for BAE Systems. Initially when I went out to the US I was based in Texas at Fort Worth which is where we build the F-35 and I spent three years there developing the flight controls and helping the engineers understand how we wanted to use the airplane so that we could make it optimized uh, for the role of the UK uh, forces so that it will be perfect to be able to take to sea and, uh, and carry out the role this country needs it to carry out. Uh, since I was at Fort Worth uh, for three years I've been at Pax River for five years. I first checked out on the F-35 uh, nearly four years ago and I spend most of my time flying the F-35B. I've got about 100 hours of flight time in the Stovall mode uh, and I have nearly 250 vertical landings in the F-35, which is, uh, is a good number. Starting to feel experienced with it. So the, uh, the UK operation from the Queen Elizabeth class carriers is going to be in some respects very similar to the legacy operation with the Harrier. We, when you look at the aircraft carrier, you'll notice there's a ski jump ramp at the front of the carrier. It looks rather smaller than it did on the Invincible class carriers just because the sheer scale of the carrier is so much bigger. So the, the ramp, the ski jump that is physically the same size as the old one just looks somewhat smaller. Um, nevertheless, it helps an F-35B to get airborne from a ski jump. It would actually help any airplane to get airborne from a ski jump. And the reason is simple, is that you can get airborne with an upward vector. As you leave the ground, you have already got an upward vector. So you're starting to go in the direction you want to go. It buys you a bunch more performance. It means you can take off heavier in a, sh in a shorter distance. And you buy yourself a bunch of safety because you've got time to sort things out because uh, you're going in the right direction as soon as you get airborne. For the landing on the carrier, it's also going to look broadly similar to the Legacy Harrier in that we will come alongside the, the port side of the ship, the left side of the ship, and we'll come to a hover. We'll stop the aeroplane in a hover. And then we'll translate sideways, usually to the right, over the flight deck. And then when we've, when we've established a nice steady hover over the flight deck, we will vertically land straight down and land vertically on the flight deck. So the Harrier did that too, but there's one additional thing that we're going to do with the F-35B, which I find particularly interesting, and it's called a shipborne rolling vertical landing. So it's a rolling vertical landing because we maintain some amount of forward speed, typically around 60 knots of airspeed. And at 60 knots of airspeed, the wing on the F-35B is actually producing significant amounts of, of lift, thousands of pounds of lift. And what we can do with that is we can carry bombs and missiles internally to the airplane or externally and we can bring them back if we haven't expended them in the war effort we can bring them back on board something that the harrier could not do we will be able to do with the f-35 it means we don't have to expend those weapons and drop them uh, needlessly into the sea before we come home and, and land on the boat so the shipborne rolling vertical landing means we have to land before we stop so i just described the vertical landing before that was stop alongside the carrier and then land, but the shipborne rolling vertical landing, we're gonna land with forward speed and then stop the aeroplane with the tow brakes uh, of the aeroplane. There's no hook, there's no barrier, there's no cable on the carrier. We simply get on the brakes and stop the aeroplane. So it's a fascinating new engineering problem and we're busy solving it with, uh, with the UK MOD, um, BAE Systems, Lockheed Martin. Uh, we're locked closely together on this project, trying to work out how the best, uh, the best way to mechanize a ship on rolling vertical landing, which requires uh, modifications both to the aeroplane systems and also dedicated lights and uh, visual landing aids uh, in the ship itself. Um, so fascinating project as we go forward. Thoroughly looking forward to doing it for the first time in about the 2018 timeframe.